So we just had a lot of shit go down last time. I have a feeling we're going to be real close to an ending, whether or not we get to actually do our votes. Oh yeah, that's right, it ended with Fido and something fucking awesome. Sticking it to fucking Dio. He pounded on the door, screaming, but it showed no signs of opening again. Fuck! Too bad, Dio. Gave the door one last slam for good measure, and ran to the next open one. Invalid pair detected. Please retry with valid partner. Members of a pair cannot vote in separate rooms. Ooh. What? Why the fuck not? This is against the rules. How am I supposed to vote? <laughs> the announcer did not respond. This is bullshit. <laughs> I see. This is how Fi can guarantee her choice. Dio can't vote now. There's a chance that Fi will choose Ally just went way up. After all, if you pick Ally and she betrays you, then... Dio will have nine points. And she doesn't want that. Exactly. But don't you think Fi might be worried that Kay will break his promise? After all, if he can be pretty sure that Fi is going to choose Ally, then... You needn't worry. Her plan is very clever. Hmm. I will definitely choose Ally. You'd better. Two minutes remain until polling closes. You don't have much time left. Let's go. Right. Okay. Here goes. Sigma? Yes, Luna? Hmm? You... You are going to choose Ally, right? You better. Of course. We both have 5 BP right now. Even if I did betray you, I only get 3 points. That's not, that's not enough to escape. So I have to wait until the next round anyway. Make sense? Oh, I see. Huh? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Oh. Were you hoping that... Anyway, you promised. You said you trusted us. Maybe... That's what you're hoping for? You have to choose Ally. Right, I will. Well, here goes. Let's just get right down to business. 30 seconds remain until polling closes. Wow, this is our first second round vote that we're actually doing now. What am I going to do? I guess there isn't really any question. After all, I promised Luna that I'd pick Ally. But... What if she was lying to me? I eh. would have chosen Ally regardless. I mean... Sigma's going to be my opponent. Hmm. I... I trust him. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Oh shit, that was a quick 30 seconds. No Nine, more thinking. Eight, oh, we're gonna count seven, down. Six, five, four, we're gonna slow down three, in the last second. Two, one. Well, let's just get right down to business, shall we? You have made the correct choice. Well done. You have made the very correct choice. We cannot betray that smile. What has been recorded? Please wait. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Well, here goes. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Well, Zero Junior was correct. No more Zero Junior. Ready? Dead. Demir, J. Clover, Phi, Dio, Luna, K, Sigma. Ooh.
Okay. Yeah! Oh, oh, fuck! Quark! Quark? Oh, Quark! Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Oh, Please shit! Check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. I'm surprised that Clover actually allied. Thank you, Sigma. You're welcome. No need to thank me. I just did what I promised I'd do. I didn't want to betray your trust, after all. Anyway, thank you, too. It was nothing. Ah, that face. I also just did what I promised to do. Aww. Now we both have seven BP. One more time. This is the home stretch. And we can get out. Yes, it is. I hope we'll get to pair up in the next round, too. Because I'll choose ally? Yeah. You're an opponent I can trust. If we were partners, you could pick whatever you wanted then, couldn't you? Uh... I mean, you'd get nine points either way. Whoa, hold on there. Why would I suddenly choose Betray? I've already chosen ally twice. You're right. Ah, oh. let's choose ally and get the hell out of here together. Sound good? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you seem worried. Come on, why do you look so sad? Well, it's just there's a part of me that just can't feel genuinely happy about that. With Alice? Oh, you mean Alice? Oh, yes. Oh, we still haven't found Quark either, huh? And we should probably do that, since he has 9 BP now. That too. Still, Quark's BP is 9 now. Technically, he's 1. Duh, duh. Why did you do that? Why did you tell me all that stuff for? What? Were you just lying? No. Everything I told you was the truth. Oh. You have to trust me. I did! Look where it got me! How could you do that? You're such a jerk! How could I betray you after that? And then you... you... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Hmm. Are you... zero? Oh? What? No, of course I'm not zero. Then how could you know all that? I feel like we missed an important conversation here. Where did you find out about that stuff? I told you, I... Don't lie to me! I'm not lying. Forget it. It was stupid to trust you. I mean, there's no way. Mm -hmm. Clover, this isn't about me. I... I made a mistake. I got someone involved in all this when I shouldn't have. I... You mean Quark? Yeah. You did this to get Quark's BP up to nine? Yes. Oh. But you've only got four points. I'm not important. Oh. The only thing that matters is that Quark gets out of this nightmare. Well? Hey, where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to look for Quark. Hey, wait! Ten Yoji didn't respond, just turned and walked off toward the magenta door. Clover started to follow, then pulled up short. Oh. She spun on her heel and headed off toward the cyan door instead. Okay, door transitions are back. Hell yeah. Well, now what? What just happened? My thoughts exactly. Kate. I thought Clover had said she didn't trust any of us anymore. Indeed. Yeah, I know. Then she chooses Ally. Ten Yoji must have said something to her before the last round started, but what? Come to think of it, didn't you choose Ally too? Yes, I did. Phi put herself in a situation where choosing Betray would be unwise. If she had chosen Betray, Dio would have 9 BP now. I concluded that her desire to avoid that outcome would be stronger than her desire to protect herself with Betray. And so, I voted accordingly. 
That was her guarantee? Yes. Then why didn't you choose Betray? You could be walking out of here with nine points right now. It's because you promised, right? Uh, 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 embarrassed K noises. Yes, that too, I suppose. There wasn't there was another reason? Yes. What was it? It's difficult to explain. I suppose you could say I felt a connection. Eh? What do you mean by that? Well, when we were investigating the pantry together, I felt that Phi was somehow similar to me. Uh, eh? Something in me said, don't betray her. Mm. You could call it intuition, I suppose. Cut it out. That Gut feelings are bullshit. Uh. Phi. Besides, you don't get to have a connection with me unless I give you permission. Yes. And I don't remember doing that. Oh, well then. You're acting like we're pals or something. Kind of skeeves me out, to be honest. What the hell, man? He did you a favor, and now you're gonna give him shit for it? <laughs> you chose Ally, too. Well, yeah. Didn't you do that because you trusted him? Not exactly. It was a logical move to... Guarantee a position the case. I just made him trust me. When we were in the pantry, I stuffed my face like an idiot. Uh, that got him to lower his guard. What? Uh, did you really think that would be enough to convince him? I mean, if you were wrong, then he could have escaped and left you behind. What are you getting at? Well, I'm just thinking that maybe you felt some kind of connection to him, too. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to feel a connection for a guy whose face I haven't even seen? You tell me. Shut up. <laughs> um, if we could uh, change the subject, where did Dio go? Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. He must have been here for the results. Oh, I saw him leave. Oh? He checked the results and then left through the yellow door. Okay. <laughs> Ten Miyoji's in the cyan door. Dio's at the yellow door. And Clover's in the... Oh. Tenmyoji's in the magenta door. Clover's in the cyan door. Dio's in the yellow door. So where did he go? Suddenly, the warehouse was filled with the groan and clang of metal doors grinding shut. What? Oh. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Oh. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. Oh. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As many times as we want, huh? And that means... As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. So you can repeat the game once every 45 minutes or so. Oh, that's right. What? Remember what Zero Jr. said? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too! Oh yeah! What are your bracelets, guys? Looks like I'm... Magenta Pair? Me too. Oh, we're paired up again. Looks like we're pairing up again. Better than getting stuck with Dio, I guess. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I'm a yellow pair. What about you, Luna? I'm a solo, but I'm green. Hmm. Wait. Green? Yes. Hold on a minute. With the colors for the first game, red, green, and blue? We use those colors to open the magenta, yellow, and cyan doors, right? Yes, that's right. And the next round, we had magenta, yellow, and cyan bracelets. And open the red, green, and blue doors, right? Yes. 
and this time we've got magenta and yellow pairs, but also a green solo. What color doors are we supposed to open? And where are they? Ah, good question. How much time do we have before those doors open? Well, we need to check the other bracelets before we make any decisions. That means Dio, Tenmyoji, and Clover. And Quark. We'll need to check Alice's bracelet, too. Anyone could just pick it up now. Ah. I will try and find the remaining people and their bracelets. Quark will be my first priority. I'll come with you. Very well. Good I'll go it. check on Alice's bracelet, then. Oh. And don't forget to, um, retrieve it. We'll likely need it to get through the chromatic doors. Right. Right. Sigma, can you come with me? Sure. What? Oh, okay. Let's go. I'm gonna have to see her again. I feel sick just thinking about it. Shouldn't we decide on a time to meet up? Just in case? Let's see. When do the doors open? Click. One hour twenty-one. Still got quite a while. An hour and twenty-one minutes. Then let's take half of that. What do you say we all meet back here in forty minutes? Sounds good. Okay, and Luna stepped through the magenta door. Out of the warehouse. Hey, you don't, uh, you don't think Case the killer, do you? Maybe. Maybe. Why do you always have to be so non-committal? If he is, then Luna's in danger. Maybe. Damn it, Fi. You're not one to talk. I didn't see you stopping her. Well, well, yeah, but... I just had this gut feeling that I could trust him. A gut feeling, huh? Sure you're not the one who's feeling a connection to our armored friend? Uh, I mean, all that plating is pretty flattering to his figure. I mean, you're not wrong, but... That's not it. Are you sure? Well, maybe. Yeah. Have you considered that it might be Luna? But no, that's not possible. Why not? Because Luna didn't need a knife to kill Alice. Wait, what? When we played the last round, Alice's BP was one. Luna was playing against the two of us. All she would have had to do is convince us to vote ally. She could have killed Alice easily. She would have just had to pick Betray. Exactly. But if she'd done that, do you really think the rest of us would have let her get away with it? Ooh. We'd probably have tied her up or locked her away or something. Besides, there's no way in hell Alice would have chosen Ally. The only way to get an Ally vote from your pair would have been to physically overpower Alice. Or trick her like I did with Dio. So, what? You're saying Luna's the killer? No, I'm not. I'm just saying the possibility exists. Even if she was, I don't think we'd need to worry about Kay's safety. He's got a full suit of armor. Yeah. I'm he's pretty hard to kill with all that on. All mm. right, I think that's enough of that. Let's go check Alice's bracelet. I have some suspicions about the big plug that we found in the Golem Bay. Well, let's see what the hell happens next. Clover! What? Hey, hey, come on, don't run away! Run away? Well, it sure looked like you were run trying to get away from me. It sure looked like you were trying to get away from us. I wasn't running away, though. I just don't want to talk to you. Okay, Miss Secret Agent. Isn't that pretty much the same thing? Look, running away isn't going to do you any good. Don't you want to find out who killed Alice? Well, you're not going to be able to figure that out. Unless you talk to people. I don't need to. Why? Why not? I already figured out who did it. Alright, who did it? Who was it? I can't tell you. Of course not, because you're a secret agent. Why not? You might be working with them. Yep, yep you're a secret agent. Both of you could be in on it. Absolutely. Oh, come on, of course we're not. Forget about it. 
There's no point. It doesn't matter what you tell her, she's never going to believe you. Just tell us one thing, Clover. How did you know who it was? I noticed something. Huh? And what was that? Alice figured it out too. Before she... What was it? Oh, is that the thing by the... AB room she was looking at? Why don't you figure that out yourselves? Anyway, Ooh, are we gonna investigate? Go. Hey, wait, Clover! Hi. Well, there she goes. Ah. Shit. What's wrong? I forgot to ask Clover what color her bracelet is now. Oh. Really? That's it? Calm down. She's a cyan pear. You saw it? Yeah. Snuck a peek at it when she ran by. And it looks like Alice's is a blue solo. She reached down and casually picked Alice's bracelet up off the floor. I'll hold on to this. Yeah, good idea. I wonder what it was that Clover noticed. You mean what Alice noticed? Yeah, yeah. Were you even listening? Fine, what did Alice notice? If I didn't answer. Instead, she knelt down and began to examine Alice's body. What are you doing? I'm investigating. What are you investigating? What does it look like I'm investigating? Yeah. I'm looking for any clues to what she figured out before she died. Huh. Found something already. Have a look. Huh? If I held something out, it was a handkerchief stained reddish brown. Is that blood? Looks like it. It's darker than Alice's, so it's probably been on her since before she died. If it's not hers, whose blood is it? The old lady? Maybe. You think Alice killed her? Who knows? She could have just found this somewhere for all we know. Hmm. Do you think she figured something out from this handkerchief? Can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility. So, time we moved on. We need to figure out what Tenmyoji and Dia's bracelets have changed to. And we need to find Quark. Yeah. Let's take the blue door, then. We should be able to get to the room Tenmyoji, Quark, and Clover went to. That way. Sounds good. Oh, that's right. I'm still worried about Quark being MIA with 9 BP. I hope the awkward noises of my headset not sitting right on my ears for some reason isn't catching too much on you. Huh? 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 What? It says, Rec Room. This is the only door that's unlocked. Oh, yeah. oh. So this is where Ten Miyoji's team went. I'm gonna open it, alright. How many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> you don't need to keep asking permission. Okay, okay. Rec room, huh? We went to the bee garden last time. Whoa. 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 Why? Hey, Ted Miyoji. I'm guessing from your face that Quark is still missing. No sign of him, huh? Happy. What? <laughs> I'm asking if you're happy Quark's still missing. Why would I be happy? No, of course not. Why would I be? And then does it hurt? 
Are what? you so terrified about whether or not he's safe that it feels like someone's got your chest in a vice? I uh, no. I will admit that's not the reason I'm worried, but I. That that part of it did kind of pass over my consciousness. <laughs> I didn't think so. Quark's got nine BP. If I find him first, I might make him escape. Uh, or you could just. So it's better for you if I haven't found him yet. The thing that sucks about that, the, about that, is if Quark decides to escape, it's essentially proving Dio's side of the story, right? Right? Sneaky bugger, Quark. Am I wrong? Tenmuji, what's going on here? It doesn't sound like you. I know you're worried about Quark, but... And just what the hell do you know? Very little, admittedly. He's all I've got left. If something happens to him, I'll... I'll... Tenmuji. It's all my fault. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I, I never should have brought him here. Brought him? Did you say brought him? Yes. Zero made me an offer. What? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait. I thought you said you and Quark were abducted like the rest of us. You mean you came here voluntarily? Hey, answer me. What the hell's going on here? Can I see the other side of your bracelets? What? Huh? Why? Please, just do it. Fine, I looked at one another. Neither of us knew what was going on, but there was no reason to refuse. We shrugged and did as we'd been told. And suddenly. Whoa, 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 what? Ah! Whoa! A blink of an eye, Ten Muji had pulled some kind of can, can from his pocket and sprayed both our wrists with it. Hey! What the hell, man? Calm down. It's not going to hurt you. Is this some kind of chemical? Yeah. I found it when I was searching this room. Oh. He walked toward the door and flipped the light switch. Um. Good work. It's dark now. Bleh. Show me your bracelets again. Hmm. Is that <laughs> luminal? That stuff you sprayed us with was luminal, wasn't it? Yeah. How'd you figure that out? I guess when you turned off the light. Isn't that the stuff they use on cop shows to find blood and, uh, other stuff? Yeah. Why'd you spray us? Who killed Alice? Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. What? Neither one of you is Zero Senior. Oh. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the luminol? Yep. Uh, so wouldn't mind explaining this to me? Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. Fair enough. Hey, Tenmyoji. Sorry, but I've gotta go. What? I need to go look for Quark. Wait, you still didn't answer any of my questions. No! I'm sorry, but I can't let that happen. You dropped a real bomb back there, and I'm not about to just ignore it. What did you mean when you said that Zero made you an offer? Why are you here? I can't tell you. But why not? I don't really understand how, but you seem to have decided that neither of us is Zero Senior, right? Yeah. Well, we certainly didn't do any murders. Then why? You don't get it. No, I don't. Explain it to us. I can't tell you no matter who you are. Oh. Right now, we might as well assume Quark is a hostage. Mm. Zero Junior seems to be aware of everything that goes on here. If I tell you, he'll know. And then God only knows what Zero Senior will do. Mm. Please, I'm asking you. Quark missing means his safety is in danger. Put yourself in my shoes. I looked him in the eyes, for the first time since we entered the room, and saw nothing but years of loneliness and regret. If I could speak, he turned and left the room. Okay. 
Hey, can I ask you a question? It won't do you any good. Probably not, but... Whatever you want to know, I don't know anything about it. No, no, it's not about what just happened. Yeah? Then what is it? Oh, I see. Eh? Uh? You mean his bracelet, right? Oh. Chill, man. Chill, man, I got you. He's a red solo. I had a look while he was talking. Oh, everybody has different colors? Oh, good job. That uh, wasn't what I wanted to ask either. Yeah, what is it then? When you sprayed us, you, uh, you screamed, didn't you? No. Mm. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. No, I'm pretty sure you did. Not quite so tough when you're scared, huh? Shut up! <laughs> We've got stuff to do. Get going! <laughs> Move! <laughs> yeah! Nice try, Sigma. Someone's fun. Ooh, warehouse. Didn't we only poke our head in here briefly? Analysis route. What is that door? This. It looks like another warehouse. I guess there's one on this floor too, then. Makes sense, I guess. Makes sense. I guess as much as we saw the map. Warehouse. 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 Complete with three more rooms. What's that over there? Probably more graffiti. There was one on floor A, too, remember? Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. Yeah, there was, but... Never mind that. That was two milkmen do comedy. There's someone else here. What? Is that Dio? Looks like it. Let's go see what he's up to. Oh, you would dare approach? You would you would actually approach me, Jojo? What are you doing here, Dio? Oh. Oh. Nothing. Hmm. Just going with the flow, you know? I'm seeing where life takes me. Yeah, yeah, bro. I, I feel that. You don't seem to have any interest in searching for Quark. Why would I? Do we even know he's really missing? Maybe the little shit's just off having nap time somewhere. <laughs> So I figure, let sleeping dogs lie, right? Or kids, in this case, I guess. If we wake him up, he might realize he's got enough BP to blow this popsicle stand in ditches. That would be a problem. That happens. It's all over. We'll be stuck in here for the rest of our lives. Which probably won't be that long. Rest of our lives? Yeah. Did I stutter? Or did you just forget? Zero Junior told us, remember? Those were good, huh? I had to admit, I've kind of forgotten that detail. If Zero Junior had been telling the truth, we wouldn't be able to get out until we died. Hell, even that might not be enough. Maybe they just leave our corpses there to rot. My stomach did a little flip. So? What are you guys here for? Did you bring Fi here so I can kill her? N no. What? Ah, huh, really? You already forgotten your little stunt earlier? We're damn lucky Kate chose ally. If he hadn't, he'd be hanging from that crane right now. Hey now. Huh. Sounds like you're getting a little desperate. I hope there's a Pushmaster 3000 equivalent in this game. Word of advice, Dio. I don't know why the crane made me think of the Pushmaster 3 3000 uh, during this kind of dramatic moment, but... That's not a smart attitude to have here. All you'll do is make sure that whoever plays against you in the AB game won't pick Ally. You talk as if I give a fuck. I already know I won't be up against you two. Why not? Kay and I are the yellow pair. You guys are the magenta pair, right? Two oh, pairs oh. can't go through the same chromatic door. Pair, pair, pair. 
Solo, solo, solo. Oh, okay, so there are... Just two... Two, four, six... Okay, so there's still three pairs, three solos. But... Um... They're all different colors. Well enough for you. How do you know our colors? Kay told me. Oh, Kay was, was here, here a while ago. Speaking of which, Temioji and Clover were here too. Together? I guess everybody misses my company. Not really. Anyway, that's how I know what everyone's colors are. They aren't here anymore, so they didn't miss you that much. <laughs> was Kay by himself? Yeah. What about Luna? Oh. Luna? I haven't seen her. Luna? <laughs> I see. Anyway, Kay and I won't be pairing with you two. We'll be taking the blue solo. That's... that's Alice's bracelet. But how did you know that? Oh, come on. Really that thick? Look at the doors in front of you. These are the next chromatic doors. We have to make white. So the next color is white. Bingo. See that thing next to the door there? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, Dia. <laughs> I get it. You and Kay are both yellow. You can get yellow by adding red and green together. If you add blue to that... Oh, is this... We only have one choice? It becomes white. Exactly. Get magenta by adding red and blue together. And adding green to that gives you white. So there's only one possibility for us to go through the white doors. So that means Fi and I would need to pair up with the green solo, which is Luna. Right. That means the other three would be in the same team as before. Ten Myoji, Clover, and Quark. We know that Ten Myoji's a red solo, and Clover's a cyan pair, so... The only one left is the other cyan pair. So we can assume that's what Quark is. Could there be any other combinations? No. There's only one option this time. Alright, so no pull. All we gotta do now is wait for these white doors to open. 45 minutes. We only have five minutes left before it's time to meet up with everybody else. Why don't you get back, get back to floor A? Sorry, but I'm gonna stay here. Moving around so much is a pain in the ass. Nobody invited you. <laughs> Come on, Fi. Right. On my way. Unmistakably own the loser. So we've got our next destination. We've got no quark. We seem to have lost Luna. To some degree. Where's Luna? What sort of chaos are we going to be walking back into now? That's some smooth door action. Oh my god. They're back. I were literally skipping these earlier. Does that mean something's going to happen in here? Oh no. I was joking when I asked about walking into chaos. Hmm. Huh? Something up? Why'd you just stop? Well, you see that clock over there? The one that looks like the sun? Yeah? It reminded me of something we saw earlier. What do you mean? Remember the graffiti on floor B? Oh, ninth lion eat the sun. You remember what it said? Uh, if the ninth lion eat the sun. Memento mori, right? Do you know what that means? Remember, you're, remember you will die. Then for something like, be aware of death, or remember death. It's usually used to mean, we're all going to die someday, so don't forget about your own mortality. What about the other part? If the ninth lion eat the sun. Well, I mean, that's pretty straightforward, right? The ninth lion ate the sun. I mean, yeah, it's kind of nonsense, but... Ooh, I get it. That's what the clock made you think of, right? The sun in that sentence. Yeah. Did you notice anything strange about that graffiti? Uh, 
ninth was spelled with an extra E? Apart from the fact that it made no sense? Not really. Huh. Wrong answer. Oh. Maybe you're not the eagle eye I thought you were. Okay. I guess I have to do everything. Alright, fine. Part of it was spelled wrong. Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. It should be N-I-N-T-H. But the graffiti had N-I-N-E-T-H. Okay, Fi. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. We just put an extra E in there. Exactly. That's kind of a bonehead mistake. Do you think it was, like, a kid who wrote it? Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all. Maybe it was Quark. I'm not following. Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. But why? Maybe because he didn't have enough letters otherwise. Uh, what? Anyway, it's if anagram? Zero wrote that graffiti, then it's got to be significant. Remember death. If the ninth lion ate the sun. Huh. Shit. Hey, it's already two minutes past time. Oh, shit. Let's go. We should get moving. Right. I guess technically we get door transitions when we actually enter a room, albeit briefly. Huh? Kay and Luna aren't here. Astute observation. What should we do? What do you mean, what should we do? All we can do is wait. We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Yeah. Guess you got a point. Uh, hey, where are you going? Just want to check something really quick. Check what? Oh. The last time we saw Alice alive, she was right here. Remember? She was kneeling down, looking at something on the ground. Yeah. What do you think she was looking at? Oh, huh? Find something? That's blood. Isn't this blood? Uh-huh. Nice work there, Sigma. I don't need you to pat me on the back. It makes me feel stupid or something. The truth hurts. Hmm. Mm. So, blood, huh? Blood? Yeah. Oh my god. What? I suddenly looked up at the ceiling. I followed her gaze and found myself looking up at a metal crane. It was the kind you might see in a shipyard. Sort that moves along a metal track as a claw to grab and lift cargo containers. So, what's the deal with the crane? What? Damn, gone again. Stop running around! Just tell me what you found. I noticed something. Oh yeah? And what, pray tell, was that? The same thing Clover and Alice noticed. That's... Arg. Can you just tell me? Look at the number 6 AB room. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. What's the first thing you think of when you hear blood? Vampires? The yeah. This whole thing kind of sucks, right? Doesn't... Come on! <laughs> this is no time to be screwing around. I'm talking about this thing. The handkerchief Alice had. There's some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. Consider this for a moment. Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost AB room. We'll assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Okay, then what? Alice was looking at the handkerchief. Right. What do you think was going through her mind? Why is there a blood-stained handkerchief here? 
Or something along those lines. And? Did this belong to the old woman? Must have. And? How did it get here? If it did, then who put it here? Or, wait. Maybe someone just dropped it. They could have thrown it here. And? One more? You're almost there. Hmm. How long has the handkerchief been here? Something like that? Yes, exactly. So how long do you think it was here? Well, imagine it wasn't here for the start. Wait. When's the start? Uh, you know, when we started. When you and I escaped from the AB room through the hatch on the roof. First thing we did after we got out and met everyone, except for Clover and Kay, was go look at the number 9 door. Spent a long time examining the AP rooms, too. Yeah, I know we looked at this from this, this exact angle. Wait. I'm pretty sure there wasn't any handkerchief there, then. There was a another AB room there, then. It wasn't... Wait. Huh. Finally figured it out, huh? Yep, yep. Somebody moved an AB room. Now it's clear. No way. The AB room moved? Yeah. Was it that crane? Probably. They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. So, what was in the leftmost AB room? The body. The body of the old woman. And who was trapped in there when the nonary game started? Well, it would have been the AB room on the right at first, so... Luna? The third time, Fly walked off without saying anything. Stop that! My body felt like lead, but I forced myself to follow her. She stopped in front of the graffiti that began two milkmen. What oh! What do you think this is? More blood. Well, I thought it was just paint with the graffiti at first, but I'm guessing you don't think so. Is that more of the old woman's blood? Seems like it. So Luna would have killed her here, and taken her to the rightmost AB room. After that, she would have moved the room with the body in it, so that no one would suspect her. That would mean the first person to get out was Luna, not Alice. Well, wait. Hmm. Something about that timeline doesn't make sense. Mildred here, taking the rightmost AB room. Then sometime before the first AB game, moved. She didn't move it immediately, because we only found the body when we went to start the first AB game. And we happened to go in the, the now leftmost AB room, which was the dead body room. Who could have done that? What about the handkerchief? Did the AB rooms move in the... the other route we did? This thing? Here, look. You see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was. Which means this might have been wrapped oh. around whatever was used to kill the old woman. So maybe Luna wrapped the weapon with this handkerchief. And then... Threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. That means someone's got a knife. Then, when the room was moved, it came out. That means Alice picked up the weapon, along with the handkerchief. Seems pretty likely. Oh boy. 
This is all just speculation, understand? It's beginning to look a lot more convincing. There are a whole lot of things we still don't know. I still refuse to believe that Luna had any part in the killing. But, yeah, it's a mystery, all right. For example, why would Luna leave the AP room, murder the old woman, then carry the body back and hide it in the same room? I guess it's possible she just wanted to hide the body. I still don't have any idea why she would have wanted to kill her in the first place. It's also worth noting that Zero Jr. seems to have let all of this slide. He's supposed to be making sure the game goes according to plan, but... So far there have been two murders, and he hasn't done anything about either of them. You think that means Luna is Zero Senior? Even if she was, though, I'm not sure why she killed the old woman. It's possible that she was some kind of intruder who wasn't supposed to be here, but... If Luna's Zero Senior, couldn't she have found a better place to hide the body? She'd have access to the entire facility. That's not all, that's not all either. Let's say Luna moved the AB rooms to divert suspicion away from herself. If that's the case, why did she leave the handkerchief and the weapon there? She had to have known they'd be discovered after she moved the room. Besides, when and how did she operate that crane? Luna was with us since we first got out of the AB rooms all the way till when we found the old lady's body. You, me, and her went through the magenta door and investigated the lounge. And we went down to floor B together and came back to the warehouse. By then, the room must have been moved. Of course! Ha! Why didn't I see that sooner? Luna has an alibi! She couldn't have moved the AB room! We're her alibi! Interesting. Hmm. I have to admit, you've got a point. We made a point? We made a point! Wait, what? We do? You didn't even put up a fight? You're going to make me repeat myself. I never said Luna was the killer. She's in on something, though. Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was. Oh. Which would mean that Clover probably does, too. Oh. Oh. You mean that stuff she said about what she noticed? Right. Hey, hey, Fi. So, which means that, uh, despite... Clover being the most obvious worst secret agent in history actually does have pretty good uh, reasoning skills. Why couldn't we get that Clover instead of this one? I'm starting to get a really bad feeling about this. We were supposed to meet the others 20 minutes ago, but there's no one here. You're right. Something has gone wrong. Something has gone really wrong. Oh, door. Sigma. Fi. There you are. Hi, Kay. Kay? I'm sorry. I have some bad news. What? Luna. What? Luna is dead. What? 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 Whoa, what? <laughs>